All the men of Israel were gathered for the feast of the seventh month. That would be the Feast of Booths. It's a week-long feast. The sacrifices, which become barbecue, basically, are innumerable. The ark was carried to the temple and set in its place. By the ark stood maybe hundreds of singers and musicians. The only number we were given is 120 trumpeters. They were accompanied by singers, and they were given a job to sing and play in unison to make themselves heard in unison as they praised and thanked the Lord. Their chorus was, For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. When they did their duty of praise as one, then the glory filled the temple. I think of all those, including myself, who have long prayed for revival. We have a template here. We praise God as one, and his glory fills the temple. We as believers, united, are his temple, and we are being built into his temple. If we want his glory to fall, his glory to fill us as his temple, as his church, as his people, we are to praise him as one. Christians spend way too much time looking at each other to point out what's wrong with each other instead of looking at God and pointing out what's right about him. Psalm 134 speaks of how good it is when brothers dwell together in unity. It goes, goes on to say it's like the dew descending on the mountain, mountains of Zion, where the Lord pronounced a blessing, life forevermore. We want the blessing of life forevermore. We want the refreshing, renewing to come as the dew waters the thirsty ground. Again, we're given something we can do. We can fulfill our duty as priests and in unison. Praise the name of the Lord.